Welcome to my YouTube channel and today I'll be talking about how you can verify your identity on Facebook. You really need this so that um, you don't fall into Facebook trap in the nearest future. And if you have done this and you follow all their ads policy, you would not have any issues running ads, okay? But there are some people that still <laughs> does it and still get um, banned or something, but they are rare, okay? So we're going to be learning how to do, do that. Uh, but before we do that, I'll be putting you through how to set up your two-factor authentication on Facebook. This um, decreases the risk of your account being hacked, okay? So that's the first thing you want to do. So now let's head on to facebook.com. So I'll be using the app. So let's go to Facebook. Then click on your profile picture at the top right corner, as you can see. Click on it. Then click on settings. Let's click on settings. So then let's click here. This privacy checkup right here. Privacy checkup. So click on privacy checkup. Then we'll go to this particular one how to keep your account secure okay so let's click on how to keep your account secure you can see these are the three major ways by which you can keep your accounts secure you can use password you can use two-factor authentication and you can use login alerts these are very essential so that you will not be in in nigeria or any other country and somebody is hacking your account in india or australia okay so um if you have not done this, just click on review. I'm not sure if you'll be seeing review if you have not done it. Okay, so these are the options you have. You can decide to change your password if you want to. If you don't want to change your password, just click on um, skip right here. Click on skip, then go to the next one. So if you want to use two-factor authentication, then you click on manage. Okay, you click on manage and it will tell you to set it up so i have my two-factor authentication set up already that is why you are seeing this turn off option okay and i also have my sms security text turned up already so there's a particular app called google authenticator just download the app once you download the app you come to this place and set up your two-factor authentication it will give you a barcode and also some series of numbers so you can if you are using a different phone if you are if you install that app on a different phone you can just scan the barcode that is going to display to you right here and you'll be able to use it or um if you are using it on the same phone just copy the number that it will give to you and paste it on that google authenticator the google authenticator is very easy to use it is not a complicated app at all okay so you can see the instruction right here you just have to read the instruction right here it is very easy and very simple to do okay so that is how to set up your two-factor authentication and um, let's click on next and see and we have um, control your alerts right here if you want some notification and emails to be sent to you okay so when you whenever you have issues with facebook they will send you an email and the likes so that is that's about that so go and turn on your two-factor authentication and set it up right now so the next thing we need to do is to confirm our identity okay um this is what you have to do you have to click on this um see more account centers if you don't remember how we got to this place let's go back to facebook and this is our facebook page you click on your profile here your profile picture you click on it then you click on settings you click on settings right here click on settings then you click here okay so once you click here you allow it to load it might take a while just allow it to load okay so it has displayed and the next thing is for you to click on personal details you see personal details right here you click on it and it will show your personal details then you click on 
identity confirmation okay i have already confirmed my identity so it is already showing me confirmed in green you can see that okay but if you are you are here because you've not confirmed your identity so you click on confirm your identity click on the first option you click on this very first option right here you click on it and it will tell you what to do um it will ask you to select your country so click on select country type in your country okay type in your country then it will ask you to pick the type of id card you have either national id card in um, voters card international passport or driver's license so it will give you those four options it should give you those four options and if it gives you select the particular one you have then it will take you to the next stage and tells you that your um it will tell you the criterias for selecting a picture okay so the picture whatever um, id card you want to use the four corners of those id card has to show legibly the, the the picture you are taking of the id card has to be very clear okay it has to be very clear so when you want to take the picture make sure you tap on your on the screen of your camera so that it can focus it can focus on it and make sure you have it on a dark background so i put my own on one of my children's um, school bag which is totally black okay put it on a black background and make sure that the id card is laying there flat it is absolutely flat and position your camera appropriately then you can now upload it into this place you can upload it directly you'll be given the option to upload it directly you'd also be given the option to go and select it from your profile from your gallery rather okay so once you have done that that is how to i um confirm your identity within 24 to 48 hours your identity will be confirmed and with this you should have less issues when it comes to running ads but i need to mention this before you come to confirm your identity make sure that the name you are using on your facebook account is exactly the same name that you have on your id card this so if your name is not the same thing as what you have on your id card maybe you are using one funny spelling or you are using your brand name or something this is your personal profile this is your personal account this is, this is not a business account it is not an advert it is not a page this is your facebook account okay so make sure the name is the same if it is not the same click on the settings icon at the top here and then go to personal you see personal information right here click on personal information then you scroll and you will see where to edit your name you can see name section right here the name that you are going to be public okay so you click on it and you edit your name you can see edit name or delete name so you click on it and edit your name and that is it then you can now go and um, do your identity confirmation okay so that is how you should go about it set up your two-factor authentication uh, make sure your name confirms your name is the same with what you have on your id card then you can confirm your identity okay so if you've gotten value from this video let me know in the comment section and let me know if there's any other thing you would love to learn and i will try my best to create content about it and give this video a like and subscribe to my youtube channel subscription is free so i'll see you in my next video bye for now guys